Good morning, guys. I'm gonna talk low because Catherine's in the living room asleep still. I'm trying to find somewhere to sit you. Uh, oh, maybe right there. Does that work? Kind of upsided. These are my little zoom zooms. You're sitting on top of them. Um, I just got dressed and got Jesse dressed, and it is. Friday the 12th of October, so I'm going to try to start picking back up for Vlogtober since all the drama earlier this month is over with. Uh, today's Friday, like I said, so we're going to be going in a little bit to go to the train tails. Um, and then sitting next to us, I'm going to go pick up with my mom, and she's going to go with us to that. You know, that's just where they read stories and uh, do like a little arts and craft thing for toddlers. So that'll be fun, and it's been chilly. Um, actually, yesterday it started. I guess rains and stuff from all these storms below us from Florida and all that are coming up here, and it's made the weather change quite a bit. It went from being like in the eight, 70s and 80s to yesterday it was 63, and today it's supposed to be equally chilly. Which I am okay with because I love when you have to put on a sweater or a hoodie. And uh, I can start wearing some of my shawls that I've been making. I've only made two. <laughs> but I can start wearing them and uh, maybe make some more. And I want to hurry up and make that hat pattern. Hannah gifted me for her hat towel so I can wear it. I'm putting up dishes right now and I'm going to load the dishwasher. <laughs> Try to get the living or the living room, the kitchen clean so that when I come home I don't have to worry about it. It's Jesse. Where did he go? He might be. Hey. Say hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just got him dressed too. Had to pull out his long sleeves. So yeah, we're. Um, We'll be doing that today. I have to go to the post office to mail some packages. <clears throat> yeah, come home and sew because I gotta finish up some bags. I got a whole bunch nearly done. I've just gotta finish them. And yeah, I don't know what else we'll be doing today. We'll just see. Can you get up there? <laughs> yeah. You wanna slide down it? I took down the dresses. <laughs> Go down the big slide. Yeah. Hello. Is that you? Hi. <laughs> How is it? Wow. I gotta try again. All right, you go try again. Hey, Daddy. Daddy's playing with his drone.
I'm just checking in again. It is, what time is it? It is 3.27ish. <laughs> um, I'm sitting here working on some bags, as you can see, I'm ironing. <laughs> um, this morning, uh, you've seen clips that we went to the train tails again. And Jesse and Kat both loved that. Um, I think I'll probably end up taking Jesse to that every week, unless it's bad weather or something, or we're doing something else. I don't know. Because he really enjoys it. He loves getting to see the train, and he does listen to the stories, and he gets to play with their train set that he really likes. And then they do like a craft thing. And today they did Halloween wreaths, little paper plate ones with stickers on them, and he really enjoyed that. He uh, put most of them stickers on it by himself. I think I only put one on there. And it's because I already peeled the back off of it. And then he didn't want it. So I went ahead and just stuck it on there anyways. But um, he really enjoyed it. And Kat made one too. Actually I think she left hers here. She's already gone. Her her grandmother came and got her. Because she had a dentist appointment. So she got picked up a little while ago. And then when we left um, Train Tales. We went to a bookstore. Well Ollie's. <laughs> It's uh, like a discount store, but it's got a ton of books in it. And my mom got a new Bible for her. And um, what else did we do? We came, well, we went and got the kids something to eat because Jesse was wanting something. And uh, they ate while we drove home. And then Devin was already awake because I remembered to set his alarm before we left because I knew he would need to be awake before we got back from. Um, the train station. Let me get that out of the view. <laughs> and, um, so we got back in town here, and I, we came over to our house and picked up Devin, and then we took my mom home, and then she ended up keeping Jesse. She wanted him to stay with her, and he wanted to stay with her, so he stayed there. <laughs> Trying to flatten this out. Uh, then we came back, we went back by the Asian restaurant here in town and got some lunch slash dinner because I always get enough to do two meals because uh, it's so cheap. Their, their buffet is super cheap. Like, you go in there and get enough food for two meals and it's like six dollars if that. And uh, by the time we got home from all that, it was almost time for Devin to leave so he ate real fast and pretty much left. <laughs> I hate days like that where he has to run out the door. But it's Friday and he's actually off this weekend. So that's cool that he's um, off. Right now I'm putting the drawstring casings on some bags. I've got some right here that's done. And I'm working on one and then i got a whole stack of hair that need to be pinned. I'm pinning them all and then we'll sew them all on in a moment. I've got a few Halloween bags. Let's see, I've got four Halloween bags. Two for my giveaway that I'll be having soon. And... A bunch of fall ones. <laughs> I don't even know how many fall ones there are. Um, and then I got to make the Cakewalk Cow winners. Because that's in Sunday. Today is Friday. <laughs> I'm planning on making it tomorrow though. Making them tomorrow. It's going to be a project bag and a notion pouch. To one of the winners for the Cakewalk Cow. Get some pins. Um, after Cat left. Uh, I was already... Um, starting to clean a little. I cleaned a lot the other night. Wednesday night, I cleaned a whole lot because Devin was still on bereavement, so he was here to help with Jesse while I cleaned. And, um, so I don't have a whole lot to do right now. <laughs> Almost missed that. I gotta clean the kitchen a little bit, and so I started cleaning some before Kat left, and then she left. So I finished cleaning. I went through Jesse's toys and got a bunch together to put in the closet. And a bunch to put to donate and um, so they're set over by the door waiting for Devin to get home to load them up in the car and then I started sewing I was watching some YouTube videos getting caught up but I thought I would hop on now that my phone is charged enough to talk <laughs> to record because uh, during train tells I was playing Pokemon pretty much the whole time because right there at the train station there are uh, Two Poke Stops and two Poke Gems. So I was playing that game the whole time. <laughs> and uh, it was fun. 
So yeah, t what I'm going to do tonight, the rest of tonight, is finish these bags, hopefully. I'm going to try to finish them completely. Get them photographs, photographed the ones that need to go up on the shop. These ones are for the giveaway winners. I've got two of these. And there's going to be two notion pouches to match them. The winner will get one of each. Um, this is this will be for my 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Oh, that ain't not that. It turned out the right way. Um, I'm going to try to finish up all these bags. And try to get started on the notion pouches. I've already got them all cut. All i got to do is iron the interfacing on there. Which won't take long at all. The longest part of that is cutting the interfacing, but then I'll iron them on, and then I'll iron them together. I gotta iron these things. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting busy talking. <laughs> um, what was my train of thought? What was I talking about? Finish these bags up, and then work on the notion pouches, hopefully. And I've got to finish that Frankenstein candy bowl dish head uh, it's actually all crocheted i just have to to um sew it all together sew the eyes and the bolts and the nose and tongue on and stitch on the mouth and the uh stitches looks like he has been sewn together sewn together uh yeah i gotta do that tonight because it's due tomorrow tomorrow is saturday the 13th like I said, Devin's off, and also tomorrow our city is doing a celebration. Um, it's not a carnival, what would it be? Like a, a square party, I guess. There's going to be a car show, and bands are going to be playing, local bands, and there's going to be all kinds of vendors set up, but not like yarn vendors. It's usually a few crafts, crafty people, and then it's mostly direct sales and like companies around here like the nursing homes have a booth and stuff and you can go around and get like free pins and stuff and uh, sign up to win tvs and all that kind of stuff um there's gonna be cornhole tournaments which if you don't know what that is i don't know if that's a popular thing anywhere but the south but you get this you have these big boards that are on the ground and they're slightly elevated and there's a hole in the middle of it and you get this bag bean bag of like beans or sand and you got to stand away from it and you throw it in and you got to try to get as close to the hole as possible but without going into it is that right or do you have to get it in the hole you gotta get it in the hole yeah that's what you want you want it in the hole and um you it's kind of like horseshoes you know you do it facing each other it's a really fun game it's real popular here they always do it like everything every time there's some sort of outdoor celebration there's cornhole there but this one is an outdoor tour tournament and uh I think you have to pay like five dollars to enter it but it goes to charity it's basically just like a street fair type thing Trim these up. and then at when it gets dark and right before it closes they're gonna have a fireworks show so i thought jesse would like that so we're gonna go to that tomorrow but we won't go to that till tomorrow uh evening well, we might go earlier and then, and then just go back for the fireworks show i don't know we shall see. <laughs> but, um, I don't know what else we're going to do now. Devin will probably sleep in. And Jesse, I won't get, get Jesse until later in the day. A little bit. Afternoon, at least. And, uh, so I might try to film a couple of videos. Or I might just sit around and crochet. <laughs> I do need to do some laundry. I'll probably get that started here in a little bit after I get done with these bags. Um, I don't really need to make dinner because we both have some Chinese food left over or whatever. I'm not exactly sure what kind of food it is. <laughs> That's good though. But um, yeah, if I'm not looking his box if he doesn't have much food left because I'm not sure how much he ate. I might go ahead and make a pizza or something simple. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So since I don't have any kids tonight, and Devin, tonight's his Friday, um, I will probably stay up late so that I can see him when he comes home, and might even 
we might go Pokemon a little bit when he gets home. Sometimes we do that. It'll be late at night, but we'll go around to all the gyms and fight them and take them over and um, get Poke stops. I wish that it rains at night. Cause some people are, you know, second, third shifters. They're awake during the night. <laughs> but, um, oh well. The only bad thing about that uh, Pokemon together is we're both on two different teams. <laughs> I made my Pokemon account a year or two before he even started playing it. And I picked Valor, which is the red team. Only because I like fire element, you know, the element of fire. And there's another show series called Airbender. Or it's Avatar, The Last Airbender. And on it, I love the fire elements the most. So I just carried that over to my Pokemon. I started, when I started it, I just chose that because it was fire people. <laughs> and um, he, when he made his game, like a year and a half, two years later, he didn't even like consult me. <laughs> he just picked one and he picked the blue one. I don't even know what it's called, Mystique or something like that. That's a, that's a mutant. Mystic. I think it's Mystic. Mystique is a mutant off of X-Men. <laughs> but, uh, most of the people here in our town are the blue team. Hardly ever any red teams. And on Sundays, whoever comes in town for church are the yellow people. <laughs> the yellow team. Always on Sundays, all the gyms are yellow. Most of the gyms are at churches here in our town. Churches are government buildings. The post office, the courthouse, the American Legion building. The bunch of churches and one of the parks has a gym and the old train depot which it isn't even open anymore it's actually like someone's house people live in it but it's still a gym and we park outside of it all the time they've never asked us not to so and it's got a huge parking lot so I don't think they would mind as long as we don't you know vandalize or whatever yeah they are currently doing all of our streets here in town. Um, they're finally to the point where they're paving it. They've been, it's been since early spring. They started with the sidewalks. They redid all the sidewalks in town. And that took forever. No one, you know, like, ugh, I just didn't think they ever got to get down the sidewalks. And then they're finally almost done with all the sidewalks, I think. And they're like in the process of paving, but they're only doing it at night <clears throat> after like 10 o'clock. I guess it's because the traffic's slowed down a lot by then. It actually interferes with Devin coming home from work. Um, but they're, I would say they're probably about halfway done. I'm hoping they get done before November because sometime around November 11th we'll have a Veterans Day parade and I hope that the streets are nice and done. It looks like they're going to be putting up a new stoplight right at the end of our street which is really cool because it'll help us getting home because <laughs> usually we have to cross um, two lanes of traffic just to get into the turning lane to come into our on our street and if it's full we have to get in on the right side and ride down to another street and then exit through there which is fine but if they put a light there it'll help us be able to get home quicker without having a detour <laughs> but um our city's not big at all it's actually really small but it's slowly growing one thing that inhibits our growth here is you know we're in the south <laughs> <laughs> and it's still a very, 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 very Christian-based city, you know. Most of the, the, all the families that's here have always been here. And they're all pretty much Christian. There are a lot of Hindu people here now. But, um, mostly Christian. So, a lot of businesses don't get to open here. And if they do open here, they get ran off really quickly. Um. Surprisingly enough, though, the liquor store is coming and going like crazy. <laughs> Almost every church has a liquor store next door to it, which I think is kind of funny. But for anyone with sensitive ears, we had a adult shop open here for, I'm trying to be sensitive to people, for um, bedroom supplies. <laughs> and uh, it was only open for like a week before it got shut down. People went crazy. And I think it's crazy because if you're a grown person, you know 
the majority of other grown people are doing that act. I'm trying to keep it G-rated because I don't know if there's any young people watching me. But the majority of people do what that store is for. <laughs> but the majority of people in areas like mine hide it. It's like it's like back in the older days where they would hide pregnancies because it was so like, oh my god, those people did it and now they have a baby on the way. It's kind of like our city is still like that. You know, like, I wonder how many people sleep in separate beds still here. I bet they, a lot of them have those two twin beds in their, their bedroom instead of a full-size bed. And it's, it's like, you know they're doing it. Why are you trying to hide it? Get over it already. It's 2018. <laughs> people do that. But it didn't last long. Any of the stores that open that's geared towards younger people get closed down, like, instantly. I don't even know why it happens. But like I said, the liquor stores and the breweries keep coming like crazy. So apparently people don't want to talk about grown-up relations, but they want to get drunk. <laughs> but um, we've actually got two local breweries here in town and one winery, whatever it's called, vineyard. <laughs> and I don't even know how many liquor stores. I just think it's funny that people freak out over one thing and then they don't mind the another. That's actually worse, I think. <laughs> but, yeah. We're in the South, and it's hard for people to change. I guess it's we just gotta wait a couple generations until all the current old people... Well, let me see here. Until all the current middle-aged people are the new old people, I and mean, then I think things will be a little bit more open-minded. <laughs> I hope I didn't offend anyone, but... Um, you know, times change, and people, you got to change with it, or you get left behind. And that's what happens here to this town. It's gotten left behind. A lot of people just go right through here and don't even stop because of how tiny it is. You know, like we, it's like an Andy Griffith type place, except not as nice. <laughs> Anyways, new subject. That one's getting a little old. I've been sitting here for 17 minutes bab babbling, but I don't have anything else better to do. <laughs> Alright, I got the Halloween bags ready to be sewn and the 2,000 subscriber giveaway bags. And now I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 autumn bags that I gotta pin the drawstrings on. So I'm gonna hop off here and try to get that done and then I'm gonna start sewing them all and hopefully get done with all these tonight. We shall see. Hey guys, I'm Polly back in. I just finished some of the bags. I actually ran out of brown thread, so I can't finish the autumn themed bags. So I finished up the Halloween ones, and I've got all the other ones pinned and ready to be finished tomorrow. I just have to run to Walmart to get um, thread. So I'm going to try to finish up the Halloween ones tonight all the way and get the 2,000 subscriber ones started. They're already started. They're they're completely sewn except the drawstring casings. So I'm gonna get that part started, and then tomorrow I'll finish them and the cakewalk cow one. But right now I'm gonna make a pizza <laughs> for dinner. Make sure my iron is cooled down so I can just wrap it up. Uh, I was sitting on the couch after I just literally finished the last Halloween bag. I sewed them all. I still gotta run the drawstrings them, which I can do that in a little bit watching TV. Um, oops. So I'm going to get a pizza ready. Turn this off. Maybe y'all can see me on it. <laughs> There's a little pack of soy sauce right there. So if you catch a glimpse of it, that's what that is. <laughs> but I'm just going to make a box pizza. These are actually really good. If you've never tried them. We do add cheese and pepperonis to them. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to get this started. We both have some Chinese food left over, but we can eat that tomorrow. I want pizza. This pizza, I love pizza. I don't know about anybody else, but I love pizza. <laughs> but I love it more when it's like a day old in the refrigerator. I love cold pizza. And this pizza is so good. Cold. can't remember how much water I need. One and a third cups of warm water. Okay. We'll open it. I really wish every can they made nowadays was a pop top can. I hate having to dig out my can opener because <laughs> most of the stuff we buy is pop tops, but every now and then we get a can that's not a pop top. Here we 
would just make life so much easier. I guess it costs more to make pop top lids. So while I'm sitting here working on this pizza, getting it in the uh, oven, <laughs> um, the lighting's really horrible because of where y'all are sitting. Gotta grease the pan real fast. Um, I'll talk about our weekend. I already mentioned tomorrow what we'll be doing. I have no idea what we'll be doing earlier tomorrow, but tomorrow evening we'll be going to the Liberty Square event. And it's actually a celebration. There was a country music um, star from our area. He died already years ago. Lester Flat was his name. And it's kind of a celebration for him. It's it's Liberty Square slash Lester Flat something. I can't remember. <laughs> it's a bluegrass festival. Even though they never play bluegrass music here. At least all the years I went they have it. They play. We have some Maybe earlier in the day they do. I never go early today. But usually they have like local bands around here that play at our fair and stuff. Play. They probably do play bluegrass earlier though. Anyways. <laughs> um, it's like a festival in celebration of him. He was from here and he lived here. And uh, there's a few memorials throughout our town for him. So we'll be doing that tomorrow evening. We might go to the Liberty Square thing earlier in the day when it first starts to walk around and look at the vendors and all that and then go back home or probably to Devin's dad's house because we usually hang out there a lot on the weekends when he's off work um, and then go back for the fireworks show later that night. Uh, I've done that before just because you know it's a it's actually a seven hour event so Obviously, we don't want to stay there that long with Jesse. He would not let us. Oh my god, this dough is so sticky. But, um, probably should have oiled my hand. Joy, no, I'm already committed. It's a sticky dough. <laughs> but, uh, so Sunday, we're thinking about going to a pumpkin patch. Another one, not our local one, because it's obviously very not good. Um, I'm not going to say where it is, you know, what it is because I don't want to like slander someone. I did leave a review on their Facebook page <laughs> and they did contact me, uh, but I didn't respond to them because I, I didn't want to make it a big dramatic thing, but I did leave a review. That's what the reviews are there for. And, um, I think it's a fine pumpkin patch if you're the kind of parent who sits on a bench and plays on their phone the whole time and lets your kids just run around and do whatever they want. But if you're the kind of parent that actually gets in there and is involved with your kids and seeing what they're playing on and seeing how uh, broken down it is and how unsafe it is, it's not a good place at all. And me and Devin are those kinds of parents. And everything there was broken down in one way or another. Completely... What's the word? It was just neglected whoever's in charge of maintaining it just didn't do a very good job <laughs> um, and they've been open for a few weeks so it's not like that was their opening weekend and things weren't quite ready yet but um, I have heard bad things about that particular pumpkin patch in the past and we just decided to go to it because it was closer and we ended up just wasting $28 because it only cost us $24 to get in because Jesse and uh, my mom and stepdad were free because of grandparents uh, weekend and um, <laughs> um, we did buy drinks while we were there, water, and, uh, I just got a message from Claudia, that's why I was reading that, Claudia from Crochet Luna, but, um, I'm trying to pick off as much dough as possible before I go rinse my hands off, so it was a big disappointment, and I'm never ever going to go back there again, I don't, I wanted to go there because I wanted to go somewhere closer and to help support a local business, you know, and the economy here in town, but if they're not going to do their job the way they advertise it, I'm not going to spend my money there. So we will travel out of county to go to the better pumpkin patch. It costs um, $5 more per ticket, but it's worth it because you get to pick a huge pumpkin for free with your ticket. So it's basically like you're buying a giant pumpkin for $5, whereas at this one it would have been like $10 plus to get a pumpkin. And all of theirs were rotted. So it was a huge disappointment and I'm, I'm actually glad we went and learned that so I know from every other year now to go to the other one.
But if we do go to the pumpkin patch, uh, it'll be after one, around one-ish, you know. Uh, after my mom gets out of church, we'll pick them up because it's a, it's a further drive. It's a 30-something minute drive, maybe. Um, so, uh, we'll go there and spend a few hours having fun. And They got way more play things. And last year when we went, it was really well. Jesse was too small to really do anything by himself. Uh, we had to like do everything with him and he didn't have any interest in that corn maze last year. I'm hoping he will this year. Uh, last year it was around his nap time and everything so it was just it was fun but he was kind of grumpy and he couldn't play because he was so little. And But this year he's you know he'll be two and a half and um, I think he'll have a lot more fun because he had fun at the other one even though it was not that great of a place. <laughs> Okay, I got my dough. I gotta squish it around into the pan. <laughs> um, that's our only plan for Sunday. And then it'll take up a lot of the day, you know, because we'll hang out at home until time to go pick up my mom and them. Ah, more oil on my hands. Um, and then we'll drive all the way there and we'll hang out there for a few hours. It's a lot of fun, you know. And drive all the way back, take them home. And then come home. It'll probably be evening before we actually get home. I hate spreading out pizza dough. Like this. It's so stretchy because of the yeast. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think it's going to be fun if we go. We haven't really made 100% sure if we're going or not. It really just depends on the weather. Because it is chilly. It has been pretty chilly here the last few days, which I love because I can put on my hoodie making a lot of noise. <laughs> I could put on my hoodie and I pulled out one of my shawls and wore it today. My Treasure Island shawl. Cat wore my um, Lime Verbena today. She likes it a lot and she wanted to wear it. Uh, I gotta print out the pattern for that and give to her. She wants it. I gotta get some more ink and once I do that I'm gonna print it out and so she can make her own one. Ugh. Okay. Alright now. Ready? Shrinking back down. I'm sure at some point this weekend we will end up at Devin's dad's house because we usually do. Devin wasn't supposed to be off both days, but um, they ran out of something at work that they can't get until next week. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any of that stuff. And um, so they had to, you know, there's nothing to do, so they have to go home tomorrow <laughs> or tonight. It's their last night. But um, so we'll. Probably end up getting out and playing with the drone because we got a different drone now that actually works, and we've been trying to play with it and get used to it. It's like a, it's kind of intimidating. <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully the mosquitoes will start dying soon. I'm hoping this cold weather will kill the darn things. Last weekend we went to try to fly the drone at a park near us. I um. And there were just so many mosquitoes, we ended up leaving because there were just swarms of them. And they've been finding West Nile here. They've been finding West Nile, and I think there was even a couple of cases of malaria in Tennessee this year. And if anybody gets sick like that, it's gotta be me. I get everything. If there's a sickness out there, or some kind of weird rash or something. I get it. I mean, I've had head, foot, and mouth last year with Jesse. Jesse got it and he flew right through it. It didn't even bother him. I thought I was going to die. And supposedly, adults aren't supposed to get that. And I almost died with it. <laughs> Not literally, but I felt like I was going to die. It was horrible. It's kind of scary about if Jesse goes to a daycare center in the future, is he'll be more exposed to stuff like that. I can only bring it home a lot. I think probably the worst thing though was pups. When I was pregnant with Jesse, I got pups really bad. That was horrible. And it looked so bad, you know. It looked like I had um, scabies or something. Is that what it's called? I think it's called scabies. Devin's probably laughing at me if he's watching this because I always say that wrong. But it was so... You know, I was self-conscious because of how it looked. It looks like, you know, it looks bad. It's a big rash all over my 
my body and it's supposed to be only on your torso but mine went everywhere i had it in my hair on my arms on my legs everywhere head to toe it was horrible i hated it and i forgot the pepperonis and it even persisted a little bit after he was born like you know i still had the bumps because you know they don't just magically disappear when the baby pops out which would be great <laughs> But it was bad. I When I first started getting it, I thought it was an allergic reaction. Because I had just changed my shampoo. <laughs> I had been using Dove and stuff. And then I switched to Herbal Essence just because I liked the way it smelled. And I thought that was it. But no, it was pups. Which is pretty much untreatable. <laughs> you just have to live with it until the baby pops out. But, you know, it's all worth it. And I would totally do it again. I love Jesse more than anything in this whole world. And I would pro I would go through pups again if I got another little baby out of it. Okay, these pepperonis are slippery. I think I kind of want to have another baby. Devin's always just up for it. <laughs> he doesn't care either way. He, you know, he would love to have another kid, but he'd also be happy with just Jesse. And he also would I, obviously. But. I kind of feel like if we don't have another kid, Jesse's going to be alone. Like, what happens if we end up dying early, like in our 40s or 50s, and Jesse will just be a young man without any family? I mean, he'll have grandparents and um, a few aunts and an uncle and some cousins, but it's not the same as siblings. You know, I grew up with a brother and a sister. And there's just a bond there, you know, that you don't have with your cousins. Because I even grew up best friends with one of my cousins. She was basically a sister. But it's still not the same, you know. Me and Hattie right now are like best friends. And I couldn't imagine not having my sister to go to, you know. And I'd hate to have Jesse not have another person to go to. De Devin is worried about preeclampsia. Because if you do get it, you usually get it the first or second preg pregnancy. And then after that, you're fine. And, you know, if I always if I have another baby right now, it'll be my second pregnancy. And my preeclampsia did get pretty bad with Jesse, but not to the near death bad. You know, they caught it early enough and all that, that everything was okay. So, and I, I knew something was wrong myself. That's why I started myself keeping track of my blood pressure and stuff. And then I started mentioning it to them because they did test for it and it never came back positive. But that last week, you know, I was almost due anyways. He, um, I went into the hospital on April 29th. I was due May 2nd anyways. And they would have induced me before the 10th is what they were, you know, what they said. If I didn't go into labor between the 2nd and the 10th, they were going to induce me. So, um, <clears throat> I just got induced a little bit early. <laughs> I was 39.6 weeks or something like that. 39, 39 weeks, 6 days. So, I was basically ready anyways. So, I think I, if I was to start getting it again, I would know it. And I, I would feel it, you know. I know my body. I'm pretty in tune with my body. I can usually sense when things are about to happen to it. So... I'm not sorry about that. All right, my hands are washed. You want to see the pizza before it's cooked? I almost dropped you. There it is, pre-cooked. So another thing I love about this pizza is it's so big that we have a couple meals out of it. Don't drop you. All right, I'm putting in the oven. Ooh, hot, hot. hot air in my face. <laughs> Put my box of seasonings up. Yeah, and that's that. Now I just gotta wait until it's done cooking. Clean up all my mess.